Hello Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome Cross Watchers. Let's take a look and see what you need to know what's coming in for you at the time that you're watching this reading. Also, don't forget to use your discernment, take what's resonating, leave out the rest, like, comment, subscribe if this reading resonates with you, if my energy resonates with you, and if you are interested in a personal reading done by myself, I will leave all of that information in the description box below for you all with the link to my website, spirituallyatbullet.com, for you to view the different options for readings. All right. Okay, Cancer. We have the High Priestess, Ten of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, and the Moon. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. So, you've been slowly planning towards something. It feels like you are evaluating a situation here, evaluating a goal, and you're seeing the end goal. But you also know that to get to this place, it's going to take time, it's going to take um, consistency. Um, it's, not an, it's not a quick journey, it's not a quick fix, but it's a long-term, um, it's, it's long-term stability. I was about to say long-term bag, <laughs> so maybe. Um, You've been through it. You've been through a really tough lesson. All right. And it feels like you are in a time of healing through the lessons, learning spiritual lessons that are going to assist you towards this goal that you're looking at. Okay. The way that I see it is like either you can stay here, stay where you are, um, or you choose to come out of your comfort zone with this two of wands and begin to make plans towards the beginning stages of your own growth of expansion. Okay. So chances are, I'm seeing with this five of pentacles, you may have felt like, yeah, things have been tough left out in the cold or feeling even unsupported at this moment and but five is like a halfway point right so you're halfway through a journey here um, or halfway through a lesson that has been unfolding for you and you're walking towards making a choice a decision a decision that you're gonna have to use your intuition trusting how you feel about it. How does this decision feel in your body? Because if nothing changes, nothing changes, right? Either you stay in the comfort of the discomfort or you get comfortable with the uncomfortable and make plans towards progressing and going after what you want, taking some sort of risk here. Tell me about the high priestess. Okay, it feels like you're picking up on information or feeling certain things, secrets. This is like your intuition is lighting up. Yeah, the Hermit and Ace of Swords. So it feels like you have been maybe feeling a lack of clarity on what to do right now like things have been unclear and you're trying to look too much on the logical side of things rather than making a decision from your intuition because your intuition is on point i'm seeing third eye work unblock and strengthen your third eye so you may bridge the gap from earthly existence to spiritual realms okay and the moon here, ooh, this is like, you're really going to be guided 
to make a decision that feels unknown to you or it feels risky, but is in alignment with your path. It's in alignment with your intuition. These, an instinct that you're having. Interesting. You're about to make a decision that feels like it's not going to make sense to you in the moment, but it does make sense in, intuitively or it, it, there's some sort of feeling or nudge that is guiding you towards kind of making a decision outside of your comfort zone or beginning to make planning stages towards something new or something else based off of just like a nudge, right? Sometimes we don't need physical facts to confirm what our inner compass is telling us. It does feel like something's hidden though. Secret. What is this secret? What is being hidden right now? Because something there's something you're not seeing. Okay, nine of wands, two of swords. So you're not seeing that you're at the end of a really hard journey. You're not seeing that right now. This is hidden from you in the behind the scenes. You're not seeing that you're already at this point where your breakthrough is around the corner. You've established things already in your life. You've already established a lot of energy or I'm seeing a, you've already aligned yourself to the energy of a manifestation here from what you're, you're not seeing. But you're it's like you're feel like you feel like things are just so hard or things are you're just tired. Like you can't catch a break, but you're not saying you're at the end of it. You are so close. You are so close, but you don't realize it. Tell me about the two of wands. What is this choice? It feels like it's a career choice. Mm, it's a choice that is going to take a lot of courage and strength. I'm hearing no more Mr. Nice Guy. No more Mr. Nice Guy. Some of you have been too humble or like you've been too nice. <laughs> and now is the time to kind of um, no longer humble yourself so much or keep yourself small. It's time to grow and expand. It's your time. It is your time, Cancer. And I feel like this choice or this decision is going to start some shit with that Ten of Swords. Okay. It, this choice that you're about to make may start something here with some other people. Some people may be feeling um, defeated or betrayed in some way. Okay. Ten of Swords. Ooh. Tell me about this Ten of Swords. Why are they feeling the Ten of Swords? Emperor, the Ace of Swords, reversed. Because they don't understand. They're not understanding or where you're at or they're just not seeing the, the clarity or the truth for what it is. They're seeing it for what they believe it to be and not for the reality of it. And they're feeling defeated by the fact that you're really um taking control here and being m more strict on your own growth yeah because you're at this point where you've done so much healing work or you are currently doing so much healing work um you've been you've been through a difficult initiation it says which has prepared you for the role of a healer. So I feel like I'm talking to my healers. I'm talking to my healers. I'm talking to my uh, people who um, allow themselves to feel things, feel through, feel the feelings. The in, the they, you got the intuition. 
okay? And it's like your time to grow or expand or be seen in this world. If you have someone in mind, think of them. Let's take a look and see how they feel about you, about this situation with you for the rest of the month. The person on your mind, Cancer. We have the Eight of Wands. Okay. Three of Swords, the Knight of Wands, the Five of Swords. The bottom of the deck, we have Justice. So... It feels like something has happened really quickly or really, really suddenly here. And it's created some conflict between the both of you. Okay. Why the Eight of Wands is their feelings? Three of Cups, okay. So this person really does feel like they, like you two always have a good time or things are always good when you're you're with each other. But they're, they feel like right now things are not so good. Okay, so there's been some hurt or there's been some pain here. And they want to make a move towards you as soon as possible. So they feel like they need to take action towards you as soon as possible um, and make some sort of jump through some sort of hoop here to, to see you, to talk to you, to travel towards you face to face or travel somewhere with you in order to make something right or make something fair here. Because I did see justice. So this person does overall feel like they want something to be fair. There's been some pain or there's been some hurt that has felt unfair to either one of you or the both of you and they want to make it right. Why are they seeing you as the five of swords? They're seeing you as like... Hmm, King of Cups reversed. So interesting and the nine of cups for some reason they're seeing you right now as being closed off to them emotionally and being happy with where you are at this moment being happy with what you have and th them feeling like you're happy without them or you're just Focusing on your own happiness rather than focusing on their happiness or the happiness of the both of you together. Okay. So for some reason, they, they're they looking at you this way. Like maybe you said something, maybe you did something where they feel like you're being selfish in some sort of way. Even if it's not true, people are entitled to, entitled to feel the way that they feel. Right? Even if it's not reality. The three of swords. And sometimes when we make decisions for ourselves, people may take it as like you being selfish, but they don't realize it's you doing what you need to do to heal, to preserve yourself. Okay. But they do still feel connected or they do still want to connect with you. Tell me about this Knight of Wands as their actions. Okay, yeah, they want to put the end of some conflict and drama here. Like they want to they want to take action towards ending it altogether. Or or clearing something up, getting back on common grounds, healing things. And you're going to have to make a decision on whether or not you're still wanting to Keep this person in your life if they're serving you or if they're not serving you. Okay. But you're being guided really heavily right now to trust your intuition. Trust yourself. The lesson is to trust yourself here. That's the lesson that you're learning. It's a lesson that you, you continue to um, kind of repeat in some way. Is there anything else that Cancer needs to know right now? 
Surround yourself by people you love and let it be your circle of strength, curiosity. Reclaim your curiosity and have some fun. Don't take life so seriously. Yeah, I feel like you need some fun. I feel like it. you need some like lighthearted energy in your life. There's been too much healing work, too many lessons. It's time to like let loose a little bit. Make a decision to, to prioritize fun. I'm seeing the numbers 2, 5, 2, 10, 2, 2, 2, 17. The letters F, G, O, U, L, N. Those letters could be in your name or someone else's. But with that said, this is what I'm seeing. If it did resonate, let me know. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Bye.